With Halo Infinite Season 3's drop, it actually removed a lot of modes from the game, and it looks like we will be getting that back. And 343 provides us some information about future flighting for Halo Infinite. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. And can you believe that 65% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel? If you guys like Halo news and want to know everything that's happening with Season 3, the Fracture event, and everything beyond, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So the lead dev for Forge, Michael Shore, recently hit up on Twitter saying, Hey all, I have a fun play as question. What do you consider Halo if it's greatest map and mode combinations in quick play and big team battle? Personally, I love BTP, total control and fragmentation, and for quick play, I mean strongholds on streets. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. But if you remember with the launch of Season 3, a lot of maps and mode combinations were actually removed from the game like the new map the pit aka empyrean was completely removed from quick play which is the most popular playlist within halo infinite which our good friend minblitz kind of touched on a little bit saying for quick play the pit streets aquarius and also catalyst and also for btb high power ctf effectively what you mentioned saying, unfortunately you all were removed during season three so he's kind of laying the hint down saying hey you took this out of the game is it ever coming back and shore actually replies saying empyrean aquarius and catalyst all return to quick play he said next week but it's going to be this week that we're making this video and high power ctf returns in btb as well my assumption that these were removed in the first place so there might be like a playlist limit that they put onto themselves they could have only so many variants and they wanted to feature some of the new content that came into the game every combination of a map and a mode reads as one type of option you can get within a certain playlist so say they probably put a hard limit on themselves to saying 30 options per playlist and if you're wanting to feature more of the new content well say like for btb oasis you're going to put all the options for btb which which takes away a lot of other options for other maps, meaning that's most likely why CTF on high power was removed. But the good thing it looks like they'll be coming back, they'll probably be reducing the frequency of Oasis in the process. And the same kind of thing most likely happening with Chasm and Cliffhanger when it comes to the quick play and regular social playlists. Which at first, yeah, sounds kind of eh, but also you gotta think about it, we've had dedicated playlists for the last two weeks for one week one being Chasm and Cliffhanger and a dedicated playlist for Oasis. So me personally, I got my game time in. But it looks like Chasm won't be just returning for social as it says right here from a twitter response here by tashi saying the player asked about bringing catalyst back into the rank rotation as it was completely removed because people weren't exactly fans of it though people definitely did enjoy the ctf variant of catalyst which i actually said was pretty good as well i didn't really care much for slayer or anything else on there but the head of hds tashi replied saying potentially with an exclamation so i think there's always that opportunity that these maps and mode combinations could return in the halo infinite especially for the ranked experience since so many things were removed because of that data leak issue that's been going on with Halo Infinite. I know a lot of pro players have voiced their opinions online saying they actually enjoyed CTF for Catalyst and would like to see it come back in the ranked rotation when it comes to things HCS and ranked related. Obviously, this is a developing story. As soon as we get some more concrete news information about it, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Lastly, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the flighting process for Halo Infinite as we really haven't had it since the launch of the game. I mean, I think we can all can kind of assume why there hasn't really been any flighting, though with the launch of Season 3 and all the bugs that came with it. And the same thing happened with season two as well with that launch that but it's still very important to get these early builds out to the public to play test out in the wild and so then once you get it out there you can kind of see like issues that pop up saying like the frame rate issue on xbox series consoles the framiness when it comes to the customization menu stability a lot of crashes and stuff like that what came with season three some people's settings just completely get reset each time they boot into the game and some people are still having issues just logging into the game and twitter user delta sword kind of touches on this saying that flying could really help catch a lot of bugs and mitigate a lot of issues and 343's community director Brian Sketch Gerard replies by saying there are numerous reasons why we haven't been able to land broader insider flighting since launch but it's something the team is still pursuing and wants to go back to. With how last year's content drought basically played out as you can probably assume why there wasn't really any flighting happening that they were just struggling to get stuff out the door in the first place. But now it seems like 343 is in a good content rhythm at the moment. They did say that there were going to be no more long seasons of Halo Infinite. Each season is going to be three to four months like it was promised before launch. Updates are going to be coming around more regularly as we did see with the recent patch update that came last week for Halo Infinite. And now that 343 is in a good rhythm, we could see flighting return, possibly even for season four. Though of course with the recent shakeup that happened at 343 where they lost anywhere reportedly from a quarter to a third of their workforce, these additional bonus things like flighting might be less likely. But this tweet from Sketch came out after all the layoffs. Like this is very recent news. So it does seem like 343 does 
want to try to push forward to try to get early build flighting out to the public so they can catch a lot of issues that might arise beyond internal testing. Obviously, very early in the news here, developing story, but of course, once we get some information, I'll share with you guys here on the channel as well. Now, one of the new bits of content within Season 3, Oasis, is a map that plays out so different than anything else we've had in Halo Infinite, and I explain why in this video. If you guys want to check that out, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.